Hi and welcome to part two of this gel printing session on how to print with gold leaf and metallic powders or pigments. If you haven't seen part one, I will recommend you to see it also. I have put a link in the description box below. And there's also a link to the playlist of the videos I have on jelly printing. By the way, my name is Lisbeth and I'm a Danish abstract mixed media artist. But let us do some prints with the metallic powders or pigments. Most of the pigments or powders I have is several or many years old and you probably can't buy them anymore. I use them for in my textile work uh, and my textile collages many years ago. But this is some of the things I have from then. If you should compare them to anything you could buy today, I think the thing that is called micro powders is powders you can use instead of these. So um, that's just a little thing to let you know. But uh, let us begin. I have a very soft brush. I can drag the pigments around on my plate and I have this palette knife to pick the powders up from the small cans here. And I have decided only to use very light uh, colored paints today because I don't think there is much uh, strong colors in the powders I have. So this will be um, some of the paints I will try to, to use today. But we will see how it goes. Let us begin with this greenish mother pearl color here. And I will take the lid off and then I will put a little here on my palette knife and put it down here and put the lid on. I'm so clumsy, I often spill things, so um, to not to get powder all over the table, I will put the lid, up, lid on at once. So here you can see I'm just squeezing the, not squeezing, but brushing the powders loosely on my plate. Yeah, and then I will take a light color here and I think that we can take uh, this one here oh, there's a big blob here and a little I think that is enough and then I will take my prayer and prayer paint out here it's not a very thin layer and it's not a thick layer, but something in between. And perhaps I will just put a little cardboard on to see if it, if it can get some pens also. And then a, just ordinary copy paper. Oh, sorry, I'm sliding around here. <laughs> and I will let it sit for a little so I'm sure it will pick all the things up. Beside here I have a roll-off sheet where I roll my brayer off and this paper can very often be very excited uh, sheets you get out of that. But uh, I will be back. Let us see if some of the powder is coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is you can really see the shimmer here. So it isn't a strong color, this uh, powder, but um, it looks like a nice patina. We will try some of the other colors. I will try this pink one. 
Perhaps you can put your brush in here instead. Oh. And again, I will put the lid out to be sure. There. And then I will take, uh, what kind can we take? I have this light grayish one. I'll give it a little drop here. Uh, that was perhaps too much paint. So I'll take a little of it off. Something like this, I will put in it and put my paper on here and let it sit here for a little and I will return. Let us see. Yeah, I can see it. I don't know if you can see it shimmer here. I really can understand why they call it Mother Pearl. This fab these small bottles there. Yeah, that was a nice print. Yeah, let us do another one. This is a green one. So again, Tap it on carefully here to see if this can give us another effect. Back and the lid on there. And what color should we take here? Perhaps this ivory. Up. There's coming too much paint out of the tubes for this little plate, I think. I will move some of it off here. Sorry for my arm. This one I used in another video just to see if it can get some texture on the plate here. Yeah. Let us take it paper, rub it, and let it sit for a little. And let us reveal this one here and see. This is a very light one but the green mother pearl color pigments here are very uh, strong because there's some white here but and there was some of the patent <laughs> the print before this also here but it's a nice print this is a little uh, exciting because this uh, powder here is much darker than the three others I have used. So uh, let's see if it gives more color than the other. Pa the, the, the three others were some pa pastel colors. Uh, you can call it. Yeah, this is a dark coffee brown. I'm going to put my lid on and uh, I think 
I will take this unbleached titanium. Well, I will take my little brush first and put it on the plate or brush it into the plate on the plate. I don't know what you say, but you can see what I'm doing. If my English is a little uh, crazy sometimes, it is good you can see what I'm doing. Perhaps I was a little too, a little too little. There. Too much or too little? That's always the question here on your jelly plate. It's not to be or what not to be. It's too little or too much. Do here, I have some bubble wrap. Perhaps we really could stick down here and take a little of it off, and then and let it sit for a little, and I will be back. Yeah, excited. Yeah, that gives a more color than the free first I have used but some of the green is also coming up so it's a very nice patina look this print here has I really like this one so uh, yeah let us do another one this is another brand of some kind and it is this little can here is much heavier than this one is so uh, yeah but we will see yes some gold, dark gold or antique gold, perhaps you can call it. And again, put it on then my brush. If I don't, if I don't use my brush, I don't know if it will make small clum clumps or bumps or what you call them but uh, we'll see and then i will take uh, da, 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 da. let us take this ivory again and then i think i will Yeah, sorry I stopped but I was thinking what I would do and I think I will take the well let us take this here This is the same weight as copy paper. And put that down and let it sit and I will be back. Yeah, what do you think that will be under here? Let us see. Oh hey. That looks nice. This is a quite strong and color wise you can see. It looks very nice on black paper and there's <coughs> sorry there's a lot left there so maybe I could do another pull with another color I just got thinking because I was coughing at this powder if you're a safety person <laughs> sorry but, but perhaps you should use a, a mask. Uh, perhaps they are in the air too, these powders. I don't know. But uh, sometimes it's better to be safe than sorry. And this time I won't 
put another thing here to make marks. I will just lift it off here and let it sit for a minute or so. Enough of waiting and rubbing, so let's see. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. There's still gold coming up here on the grape print, and that is also a very nice print. All these prints I'm making today isn't prints that I'm going to frame and put on, on the wall. They are not as good for that, but since I'm doing so much collaging, they are very nice for that. So you can just use parts of, of it in a, and, and uh, together with uh, your other papers. So, uh, then I have uh, these powders here. This is more copper, I think. Oh, she is. Yeah, coming out here, and my <laughs> fingers are. Also getting very full of powder here, or pigments, or what the right terms or name is. I think I put too much on here. I don't need very much. So, yeah, I have this here. This is called sand. That is perhaps good for this color, copper, copper, copper color. And a blob there. And again, I will roll. I also have this. I think it is something you put on, put under your carpet, so it isn't sliding around. So yeah, I think I need paper here so I can squeeze it into. Yeah, that's better. Then we can use the other side here. And again, give it a minute or so. Yeah, that is really a strong color here. Then you can see that nice. And there's still things left there, so let us check this ivory color here, and see if I can pick the last grunge from the plate up. I think I will take a black piece of paper and uh, let it sit for a minute or so. This is always uh, uh, such a, I don't know if you could call it strange color or what. It, it gets greenish if you put this uh, ivory paint on black color. It, it doesn't get the color it is, it, it get greenish and uh, it really looks like patina and I really like that. So that was a nice print too. I think the last powder I will try to use is this gold powder here or pigment. And 
the I think I will let it sit here as it is now and don't use my brush and see if that would be different. And what color should we use here? I think I will take my this here parchment. come up in the paint or oh, no I don't think so I have this printing block here I can try to squeeze in here some texture to the print and then I think I will take a black piece of paper then and again again let it sit for a minute or so and be back yeah 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 this is also very nice Really lovely print this one and you can see the gold and there's still something left on the plate so uh, perhaps we could take the square one and see if we can get the last thing up Just take an ordinary white piece of copy paper and let it sit for a little and then we can we will need yeah there's some gold left still here so it will come up now you can see and also I think I will Change the name of this movie to Goldfinger. I feel like I'm in an old James Bond film. So <laughs> I have gold all over my finger here. <laughs> yeah, this was all the powders. Uh, this is very fun to play with. I have one last little thing I will see. I, I can show you. I don't know if I can get it to work, but... Uh, we will see. I will take a lot of whole of sheet. This paint here from Golden is a very... I really like this paint. Iridescent bronze fine. And when you put water to it, is it is um, dividing itself in two colors. A greenish one and the iridescent or the bronze color. And um, I have, I, I hope it, it works here. I, sorry, I will clean the plate here first and be back. Yeah, this is as clean as it gets. This plate is many years old and it has been miscolored for, for many years, but it works quite nice. But uh, I will put a little of this paint here on my plate. Yeah, and then I will roll it out like I normally do. 
and this looks then I will take this very fine mister and go come a little further and get not a lot but like this and you can see it it divides and beats up So I will let it sit for a little. You can also see here the roll of shape that is also when I roll it out here, like it's it is dividing into it to get greenish there and the bronze is there and this really looks nice on this paper here. And you can also see here it is starting to get greenish some places and the copper not copper but the um, the bronze is s sitting elsewhere so this is qu quite wet so maybe i can Let's give it a little down here just a little to see So I will take my paper and put it down. And just nearly kissing the plate. And isn't that gorgeous? You can see the green there and the small flakes of marks there i really think this is a, a strange that it does that but uh, it's the only paint i know of that i can get to do this and there's still a little left here on the plate yeah it is dry now so um let us take uh, to lift this up just some ivory Wrap here and just put a little down here and see what happens. And then a black piece of paper. And again, let it sit for a minute or so, and uh, then we can lift it up. Let us see. bronze beneath the light paint perhaps but, uh, yeah I will clean that and then we can do a last pull with this paint here yeah, my paint isn't uber clean but uh, it's clean enough for me I normally I like when there's paint left or marks left on my plate because then there's coming all kinds of crunchy things up on your next print. So this was a box and then I will take this mister here and give it a dividing itself it's, it's so strange it's doing that you can always uh, put uh, some water on your fingers and do it like this this would give, the, give another pattern So 
just a little too much, but perhaps. <laughs> and this was on the table and not on the plate. Yeah, but I let it sit for a little. And I would, I think I would use black paper for this one and see what happens. No, I was, I, yeah. Should we use black paper? Yeah, I think so. I would just put my little gold finger in the paint here and see. Let us see. And let it sit for a little. And let us see. Yeah, this looks really, really nice. You can see it is more greenish in some places. Perhaps the green isn't so uh, pronounced as it is on the white paper, but instead there's black under all the small dots here. Yeah, so that was a nice print too. This was very exciting to try and use these pigments or powders. I wouldn't use the prints as a finished piece to hang on my wall, but I would use parts of it in my collages. In fact, I think I will make one or two videos using all the prints I have made in this uh, video here with the pigments, powders and the ones I made in the video before this with the gold leaves. Uh, so keep an eye out. And of course, I will take some close-ups here of these prints at the end of the video. But we can just look at them here. This was the first with the green pigments and some as a, one of the light colors. I can't remember which one it was now. And this one was the, with the pink. And this here was with the green, and there wasn't enough of the light colored paint here. And this was the one that had looked like coffee. And this is a nice one here. And uh, some gold, I think this was. And the second print was this one. And this was a copper. And uh, one more pull from the same. And this was the uh, light gold. And this one is really nice. And then there was a second pull with that. That come, came up with this here. Yeah, and some roll of sheaves. And don't throw them away. They are very nice to use in your collages. And here is a roll of sheet on black paper. That is also nice. And here is a prince with the distant Bronx that divides when you put uh, water on it. You can also use isopropyl alcohol and put on. That would make the paint divides in the green and the, the Bronx. And that is a nice one. And here are some leaves over on the <laughs> some bubble wrap and here I did the same and I did it on black paper and this is a nice one too and there was still some thing left on the plate so I left it off here on this uh, paper here and this is also a nice print and another roll of sheets so this was today's oh, <laughs> Jelly printing session. This isn't so exciting to look on white paper. So, uh, yeah. I hope you found this inspiring and I would give it a try yourself. And please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And perhaps consider subscribing my little Danish channel. So, um, stay safe and be creative. 
until next time. Bye bye for now.